Hi, welcome to this example on solving trig equations. Now in this equation we have to solve 2 tan squared x minus tan x equals 6 for x between minus 180 degrees to 180 degrees inclusive. Now when I get a trig equation I'll always look to see if generally it's in the same trig function and with the same angle and this one is and then what I notice here is that it's a tan squared x it is a quadratic equation in tan x so it should be able to factorize but because it's a quadratic equation I need to make it equal to zero so I need to rearrange it first of all so if I subtract 6 from both sides I'll get 2 tan squared x minus tan x minus the 6 equals 0. So I've got this in the correct format now for a quadratic equation in tan x. So I'll try and factorize it so we'd have in the normal way a couple of brackets. If you can't factorize it you can always use the quadratic formula but remember it would be tan x which equals minus the b term plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so you can use the quadratic formula if you like but this one does factorize would have 2 tan x have a tan x there and would also have plus 3 here and a minus 2 there you can check it out you get 2 tan squared x then you get minus 4 tan x plus 3 tan x that's going to be minus tan x there and then minus 6 when you multiply the 3 with the minus 2 All right. okay so what does this mean it means that we can put each of the factors now equal to 0 so therefore we can say that either the 2 tan x plus 3 equals naught or the tan x minus 2 equals naught so we'll deal with each one separately so we'll start with this first equation so we'll just say that when 2 tan x plus 3 equals 0 well, this is a nice equation because it's got the one trig function in it and so we should be able to solve it so rearrange this to make tan x the subject that means we'll subtract 3 from both sides and then divide by 2 so therefore tan x equals minus 3 over 2 so to get x what I'm going to need to do is inverse tan both sides so we get x equals the inverse tan of negative 3 over 2 and to solve this I would normally use the quadrant method don't forget to put that as 0 and we have to find out which quadrants tan is negative so if we're doing that remember that first quadrant all trig functions are positive second quadrant sine is positive third quadrant tan is positive fourth quadrant cosine is positive so where is tan negative well, in these two quadrants here so draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here mark in those two angles as being the same and start from here because we want to go from naught degrees now we need to turn to these blue lines but we've got to be in this range so the first one we start from here and we turn in this direction to this blue line that's a turn that is less than 180 degrees so this is a possible value for x start again from here now if we were to turn around through here to this blue line we would have gone over the 180 degree barrier so start from here this time but turn in this direction to this line and that's a turn of less than minus 180 degrees remember all the way around here is minus 180 degrees so this is another possible value of x so we've got two possible values of x for this solution okay so let's just see what we get now when we use the calculator so what we'll do is we'll inverse tan minus one and a half 
And if we do that, let's have a look. Bring up a calculator. Shift tan. It's the inverse tan then of negative 1.5. Okay, that's minus 3 over 2. So that's 1.5. What do we get? Minus 56 odd degrees. Okay, so we'll just pop that down here. X equals minus 56.30 odd degrees. Remember, by the way, to put your calculator in degrees mode. Yeah. So let's clear that away and uh, we'll clear that off and see what we've got here. Now that means that this angle in here, the green X here, is clearly that negative angle. So that's good. We've got one of those angles up here. Let's just mark that in that that angle is the, well, in size as 56.30 degrees. That means that this one over here is also 56.30 degrees and so on. Okay, so how do I get the red angle, the other solution to our equation in the range? Well, that would be clearly 180 degrees minus the 56.30 degrees. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find that you get 123.690 and so on degrees. Okay, so we've got those two angles in the range. We've now got to solve this equation up here. So let's just do that. So we'll say when tan x minus 2 equals 0. Rearrange this. We therefore have tan x equals 2. And then inverse tan both sides. So x equals the inverse tan of 2. So we need to get all these solutions. So again, I'm going to draw up those quadrants. So in this particular example, we've got tan x is a positive number. So where is tan positive? Well, it's in these two quadrants now. Okay, the first and the third quadrants. So again, draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here. What values of x do we need? Well, we need this one. So we'll have that one marked in as an X. And we need to go from here to the next blue line. Going that way is too much because it passes the 180 degrees. So we can turn in this direction round to here. So that is another possible solution. So what is the inverse tan of 2? Well, we'll put first of all the X equals. Let's see on a calculator what it's going to be. So we'll just do inverse tan of 2 and what we get is 63.43 odd degrees. So we'll just mark that in there, 63.43 odd degrees. We'll move the calculator away. So 63.43 degrees is clearly this red angle in here. Okay, we'll mark it that that's that one there. We'll just do that. 63.43 odd degrees. That means that this one over here, that little blue bit in here, that too is 63.43 odd degrees. So that can help us give us the answers. The red one then is 63.43. But as for the green one, well, in magnitude, it's going to be 180 degrees minus the 63.43. But remember, it's a negative turn, a negative angle. So if you do that on your calculator, what you should find you get is minus 116.56 and so on degrees. So what we need to do now is just summarize all the angles. I'm going to put them in ascending order between minus 180 to 180. So what's the smallest angle? Well, it's clearly this one here. So we'll put that in as minus 116. And we'll do that to one decimal place. So that'd be 0 0.6 degrees to 1 dp. What else have we got? What's the next one up? It'll be this one here. Okay, so we'll have that as minus 56.3 degrees to 1 dp. Next one will be this one over here, down here. So that would be 63.43 odd degrees, or to 1 dp, that's going to be just 63.4.
And finally, we've got this one up here, which to 1 dp would be 123.7 degrees. 123.7 degrees, that to, to 1 dp. All right, so hopefully you can follow this particular solution and model any of your examples on this, assuming that they factorize.